Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel and I'm getting into hiking now. This summer I'm going to try to get out a lot more, get outdoors. And uh, there's a couple hiking groups in Lincoln, Nebraska that I'm going to be joining. And I really don't know how to plan for something like that. You know, I plan bug out bags, get home bags, you know, stuff like that. But for the day hike, you don't want to overdo it, but at the same time, you want to make sure you have the basics for what you need. So, first of all, Nebraska weather is very unpredictable. Um, you don't know what it's going to do. It can be really warm and it can get cold. I mean, it's just, now these, these, the, these day hikes are going to take place in the summertime, but you do want to kind of plan ahead just in case you'd happen to get separated or lost or whatnot. And you'd have to make sure that you can keep yourself, you know, safe until the next day and so on. So here's what I have so far. I didn't go all out because I just want to make sure this is something that I really want to get into before I upgrade my gear. So I kept everything at a very basic level. So I did what most people do before they go camping. I went to Walmart and I picked up a Outdoor Products Venture Backpack. Now, I'm not familiar with this brand before. This might be taking the place of Ozark Trail. I don't know. It seems like a little more kind of serious or like a little bit of an upgrade from Ozark Trail stuff. When there's nothing wrong with Ozark Trail, it's fine for what it is for the price point. But the Venture Backpack, uh, this only cost me $14.97. It's got two really nice sized pouches on the sides. My uh, lightweight aluminum SIG one liter water bottle does fit right on the side. And then on the other side, I'm going to pack, you know, gear that I need to access quickly for an emergency. You've got your Molly Loops on the outside. It does have a nice little laptop pouch inside so you can separate items if you want to. It is two liter hydration pack compatible, so it has the hookups inside of it. So if you want to add a hydration pack, you can do so. It's got quick access pockets all the way around. I think it's going to work really well doesn't really have a lot of padding. There's a little bit on the back. Um, I did try it on in the store to make sure it's going to fit uh, because I'm kind of a bigger dude. So, you know, I want to make sure that the backpack straps are going to be adequate. The big thing is going to be durability. I do want to test this a couple times and walk with it and see how it feels with everything in it uh, before I go for my, for my first outing. Uh, you do have the nice chest strap here that you can put across it to help out the weight bearing. But I mean, overall, you know, for $17, I really can't complain. Does They do claim that they have a lifetime guarantee on it also. So let me kind of take you around the little loop here of what I'm going to have with me. Uh, then I want you guys to chime in, those of you that do any kind of day hikes or any kind of just, you know, just hikes where you're going to go out for a couple hours and come back. You're going to be out kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, what do you guys tend to take with you? I'm really curious. I'd really like y'all to chime in if you could do so. So from top to bottom, always a good idea just to have a basic baseball cap. Uh, so, you know, mesh, something lightweight, comfortable. I am going to be walking with a boonie hat that's got like SPF 50 on it. So that'll be blocking the sun the whole time because we're talking temperatures that could be up in the 90s and it could be humid. Uh, a couple protein bars just in case I get hungry or in case somebody would have any dietary needs in the group. Uh, it's always good to have some sugar with you. Uh, just fairly simple pocket knife, nothing too crazy. This is just my um, Emerson Kershaw uh, EDC. And now as for other personal protection items for EDC, I'm not going to show anything off in this video, but don't worry, guys, I got that covered. Uh, this is uh, These are made in Austria. The company's called SIG, S-I-G-G. -G. I think they're probably still around. I bought this water bottle a long time ago. Um, it holds one liter and it is very lightweight. So it is something that works really well. I've had it for years now. Um, Happy Hiker first aid kit. Cuts and scrapes, bites and stings, blisters and sunburns would probably be the majority of what I'm going to deal with on a typical Nebraska outing. Um, it is actually, the products are all made in the USA, which is really cool. Uh, you get uh, antiseptic wipes, you get wound gel, um, just in case anybody would get any kind of an infection, it does have that. Uh, you've got sting relief wipes, antibiotic ointments, burn creams, and then a bunch of different bandages and different uh, uh, different. Uh, application items you could use if you needed them, you know, say you've got like uh, butterfly closures and stuff like that, blister pads, etc. So that's going to be going along in this pack. Uh, moving across, then I added more things like aspirin, ibuprofen, Tylenol, uh, some swabs, uh, a few extra band-aids, burn cream, blister cream, just some extra items just in case I need them. So yeah, I do have this, but this is just a little bit different. It's a little bit kind of a step up from what comes in that simple first aid kit uh, in case you get a headache or some sort of joint pain or whatnot. Uh, I also have a complete trauma kit here, uh, Trauma Pack Pro. This does have quick clot in it. It does have a uh, tourniquet. Uh, I can't remember which one it is exactly, but I, I need to get it set up and stage it so it's ready to go. But just in case there'd be something really serious that would happen, some sort of puncture wound or something more severe would happen, um, I want to make sure I've got a trauma pack with me. It's lightweight. Got this at Shields. I think it was around 50 bucks by itself. Emergency poncho, because in Nebraska, you never know when it's going to start raining. Uh, 550 paracord. I mean, this stuff is pretty much priceless, you know, for whatever reason I got. And I got the bright orange, so it's easy to spot. Uh, for this, I didn't have to go all tactical because you want to make sure that you're visible when you're outdoors so people can find you in case something happens. 
uh, emergency blanket in case it would get cold or if I get separated from the group or whatnot, something would happen or somebody would have to stay somewhere and stay warm. Uh, you know, I thought about getting matches and waterproof matches. I'm just going to make it easy on myself. Uh, easy Reach Ultimate Lighter. If you've ever tried lighting campfires with a traditional lighter, you usually end up burning your thumb. Uh, but this is different. It does have a little, little stock off the end. And I just got this at Walmart up by the check stands. Uh, yes, yeah, it's perfect for candles and more. So you could use this if you want to for, um, you know, getting your campfire going if you needed to or just a little fire to keep yourself warm. Uh, I really don't do the smartwatch thing that often. I have one and I like it, but for outdoor adventures, I've got a Casio Pro Trek. Uh, it is solar powered. It does have a barometer, altimeter, uh, temperature. Let's see, thermometer built into it, um, altitude, obviously all the regular watch features are there too. For me, the barometer is priceless because when I see that sucker start to drop, I know that storms are coming in and it's been very accurate for the last couple of years that I've had it. And uh, the altitude is just kind of interesting to know too. So, you know, a lot of people have smart watches that do those things because it's connected to the phone. Um, I want something that's not going to be connected to the phone. Probably going to take a small um, external battery pack. Now, clothing wise, I'm going to keep it very, very simple. Uh, you know, in case there'd be a downpour or whatnot, I will be wearing water resistant slash waterproof shoes, but just in case when I get back, if they're sweaty or whatnot, clean pair of socks. These are absolutely priceless. Uh, let's see, a pair of just simple lightweight Adidas, just pants, basically. They're just like sweatpants or whatnot, but they're super light, uh, just for an extra layer in case it would be really cold out in the morning when I'm walking. Uh, these are very lightweight. These weigh less than a pound. And then to keep myself dry, I've got an REI uh, raincoat. And the reason why I like uh, the products from REI, I'm not totally sold on the company themselves, but just, you know, anyway, I don't want to get into politics. But anyway, they do 2XLT, which sometimes you can't just find at a lot of places. They do 2XL and 3XL. But 2XLT fits me perfectly. It gives me the length I need, but then also the width that I need too. And this is super lightweight. Again, weighs less than a pound, and that will help me stay dry in case there happened to be a rainstorm. So that's what I'm thinking right now, you know, aside from, say, like a little external battery pack to have for my phone. Uh, oh, and a flashlight. I, I will grab a flashlight. I got tons of them, so I'll just figure out which one I want for this particular trip. So chime in and let me know, guys, what do you think? Um, you know, is this is this too much? Is this overkill? We're just going to be walking at just a standard walking pace. We're looking at, I think, uh, two hours for the first trip, you know, hour out, hour back, just maybe like, I don't know, maybe three miles total. Um, again, since it's a first, you know, outing for me doing something like this, um, you know, it's it's been a while. So go ahead and let me know. What do you guys think I should be adding to this uh, particular setup? Is it too much? Is it not enough? I'm sure, probably forgetting something very simple that would be obvious. I'm probably not going to pack a water filter because I'll have the liter of water with me and then probably an additional bottle of water too. Uh, at some point, I might just invest in a, hydro, in a hydro pack also. So anyway, guys, that is it. This is Travis P11. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is my, I guess you could say budget-friendly setup, kind of my entry into day hiking and all the different things that, that I think I'm going to need. Um, but otherwise, guys, I think that's about it. Make sure you guys check out Caliber Corner, which is a little podcast that we do uh, Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. over here on YouTube. Make sure you guys check it out, 8 a.m. Central Time. And uh, maybe after this first hike is done, I can let you know how this loadout worked and what I decided to change and go with. And uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, mash that bell. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.